Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Weird is the New Black. My name is Kat and this is Pick a Card Reading for what is my person's agenda. So what is motivating your person in regards to you at this point in time? Maybe if it's not in regards to you, it's in regards to um, their life in general. But let's just look. And this is a general read. So it's not just love reading this one. This is potentially for colleagues, friends, family, anybody that you have in mind. You'd like to know what their agenda is towards you. So take a moment, take a deep breath and be drawn to the stack that you feel is right for you. Stack number one here is the adventurine. Two is the obsidian. Three, black and white stone. No idea what it is. Very lovely, however. And four is the malachite. And I'll see you on the other side. Hello to those of you who chose stack number one. This is the adventurine here. Beautiful green stone. Okay, so let's start with the tarot. What is your person's agenda towards you? So we've got the page of cups in reverse, the chariot, the hanged man, and the four of coins. I mean, first off the bat, that's two major arcana cards in a pull of four cards, which, you know, the odds are not huge to get two major arcana. So... This person's energy is feeling is feeling quite heavy. I'd say straight off the bat that they their agenda is to do very little in regards to you. I do think they're hanging on to you somehow. They're hanging on. And they want to move forward, but this chariot card, which is all about action, is right in between the page of cups reverse and the hanged man, which are very inactive energies for me. So this person is actively putting effort into not communicating emotionally with you and keeping themselves and the situation potentially in a state of suspense because they're holding on to a misguided sense of security. That's what I'm feeling. That's what spirit is saying. Misguided sense of security. This person is, is mixed about what they want from you. I think there's emotional energy here that's being pushed under. I mean, the page of cups, he's upside down. So he's pouring out his cup, pouring out or trying to pour out any desire to emotionally communicate or send a message even. It may be that they feel that you're emotionally cut off from them as well. I'm not sensing that there's much communication, if any. It's it's not emotionally, it, it's uncomfortable and it's not really expressive if there's any communication with this person. Um, they really want to move away from a desire to, to send a message potentially of love here. This could be a love reading for quite a few of you, but any kind of compassion or show compassion or show empathy or I think they're trying to massively distract themselves. Their agenda is to distract themselves from empathizing or sympathizing or offering support or emotional. And it's not much of an offer, it's a page. So there's an immature energy about this for me as well. This person could be younger than you or they could just be young, emotionally a little bit young. But there is actually quite deep emotional content because this chariot card for me is is driving through an ocean space, is driving through water. These these horses are riding through water and there's the moon in the background there because it's a cancer card. You could be very well dealing with the water sign here. And then the hanged man energy upside down. Um, 
any movement forward, this is water underneath here, I'm getting swampy quality, any movement forward is going to get stuck and now I'm seeing a wheel spinning in the mud. And it's like this person is putting more acceleration and, and getting nowhere fast. So there is an energy here of kind of frustration But they're not moving forward. They're, they're, there's no agenda to move forward. They're actually putting concerted effort into staying stuck uh, in in their misguided sense of security. As so, this may be a living situation. It may be to do with money. They could be caught up financially or caught in a living situation, and it's purely for the sense of material security. So money, home, food, um, stability, but it's not, it, it, I mean, the hanged man has got coins falling out of his hand here. This is not, you spend, this person may spend money like water or have has done, you know, I think there's a drive to a little bit of their agenda is, is quite a lot in the material world at the moment. I think that they're very much focused on that, on creature comforts. And they're withholding as well. They're withholding information or they're withholding money. Um, they feel like they've lost too much money or they may swing from being very careless with money and then being very conservative as well. And there is a certainly a mixed up energy. I'm not sure this person knows what they want. I think that if this page of cups was around the right way, they would want to send you an emotional message. They would want to move forward to just hang out with you um, or to just be comfortable with you and and hold on to you. They do want their agenda is to hold on to you somehow. But I don't see how they're going to manage that when they're not expressing any level of love. There is a desire to move forward to you and they are very frustrated. And now Spirit is saying that actually this hanged man energy is is spirit. Spirit is preventing this person from moving forward. Spirit is saying they need to change their perspective on what constitutes security. They need to work on their own inner sense of security. So I'm getting that this person is pretty damn insecure. And they need to do a 180 on their own motivation for security because it's actually making them very uncomfortable, making them feel stuck in the mud, frustrated. Their drive is just being depleted. Their drive forward is there's a sense of depletion energy. And again, I'm feeling that they don't have the drive to come forward to you at the moment because there is a situation that they are entangled with concerning their physical space, their physical well-being, you know, house, home, money, uh, or business as well, maybe for some. Um, they are clinging onto the reserves so tight that it's taking an enormous amount of energy to keep their heart chakra blocked and to... Re release you because they don't really want to release you because they're simultaneously holding on to you so this person is definitely conflicted about their agenda towards you definitely conflicted All right patience geomancy interesting this is a very beautiful card. And there's a sand timer in this card. I know it's quite bright. It's difficult to get the lighting right, but geomancy, there it is. 
this person is impatient. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying they are blocked spiritually because they have to foster patience. Because their impatience lead, is totally unproductive. And they are experiencing impatience. They might be impatient with you. They might expect you to send them a message. And that I'm, I'm getting that you're not doing that and that that is very frustrating for this person. They're waiting for you, like they're holding on to you possibly being the one that, that, as, that goes to assist them is what I'm hearing as well. But that's, the spirit is saying they are fostering or having to foster patience because their life is kind of in between acts at the moment. Hanged man is in between acts for me, like backstage waiting for the next energetic stream where they go and, you know, all the world's a stage and take part in the next um, sequence of events of their life. And that at the moment, they've kind of moved forward at speed just to stall themselves because they're scared to leave material securities behind. So I think that this person is kind of prevented from going towards you or having agenda towards you, even though they're holding on for dear life. And I think that they see, perceive you as very precious. But there's also a sense of distrust in this energy. So I feel like they don't trust their own desire to to come towards you and they know that they need more patience fragmented i don't know how to say that it says shagai um i'm hearing bare bones as well with this card and there are bones here bare bones they might be down to the bare bones of their savings. I certainly feel that they've invested a lot of money in complete nonsense or they've just thrown it away. It's almost like a throwing away and, and they might well be reflecting on that at this point in time that, you know, they've thrown away resources here. But Spirit says that they're being apprenticed. Um, the hanged man, like an apprentice for a kind of... Uh, a secret society or a secret order would often be held, like hung upside down for a period of time. It's a sensory deprivation thing whereby they would go through an ordeal um, that they would confront themselves. It would change their perspective. They would accept elements of themselves and therefore they were allowed to come into the lodge or allowed to come into that secret order. And the hanged man, for me, always speaks to that. And it's it's an uncomfortable space because it's kind of, you're forced to hang out with yourself. I do think this person just simply wants to be with you because you make them feel secure and they're feeling fragmented because they don't feel secure at this point in time. It feels like their energy has been massively depleted and that things have fallen apart a lot for this individual. And I don't think that they have any real agenda here other than to you know, to not, to, to try and get a handle on this impatience, even if they wanted to come forward, they, they could not, Spirit is saying that there's a halt on this person energetically until they learn to be patient. So maybe you've had to deal with their impatience and like quite like emotional cutoff is what I'm hearing as well, like immature, sudden, immature, emotional shutdown or the the wrong motivations um uh, for things you know the the royal family of the cups when they're upside down they can be really manipulative so this could be quite immature manipulation um because they were driven to to hang on to you for the wrong reasons and they, I don't feel that spirit's going to allow them to approach you, which suggests that you have a lot of patience. And um, 
I think any attempt that they make at this, that like things are going to go wrong. So their agenda might be that they want to come and just hang out because they're desperately trying to hold on to you because I think they, they perceive you as precious. But spirit is like, no, they have to let go because the hanged man is here to teach them to let go. So it's quite a big spiritual lesson that I feel that you've brought to this person. And maybe they've brought to you, but I, I just feel that until they can connect with their emotional space, I just don't feel that this person has any real solid agenda with you. If anything, they are just going to hold back on information, hold things that bide their time because they, they're kind of falling apart on the inside. That's what I'm feeling from this. So last card. Coatlicue, grief. Right, well, that would explain it. Here she's holding the moon in her hands, and it's a very sorry card. I'm really looking at the snake energy in this card as well. I kind of feel like with this moon here and this moon in the chariot, they may be kind of shutting themselves off or running away from things that they've kept hidden, things that they've held on to or been secret, and that, that is definitely for this stack to do with resources, to do with money, to do with security, and um, possibly dom any domestic energy as well around this, businesses and home. And this person is very sad that this energy has happened. I think there's been things hidden from view here, and I, I don't think their agenda... I think they really want to show you that they're actually very sorry about where they're at, that they've grieved and they're grieving you. And I do feel that their agenda is to kind of get over you, which is why they may be shut off emotionally as well here. I think there's they're very sad and picking up quite a lot of depression. This person feels that they maybe can't get out of bed in the morning. They're, they're holding on to hope as well but, but they're also refusing to budge from complacency so I don't think this person will be making contact in the near future um, I do think that they've got a lot of healing to do the spirit is saying that this whole scenario the, the reason why they're kind of stuck forcibly by spirit is so that this grief, grieving energy can come fully up to the surface and they can expel it, they can get it out so that they can really take on board the power of patience. And Spirit is saying patience is not about waiting. Patience is about allowing divine timing to be in control. This person may really struggle to not be in control of the rate of things. Um, with this chariot card here they may be very impatient they may like to rush into things but shutting off their heart space in the past has caused them to rush into a total stagnation whereby they but this is spiritually divined so that they can event they can release this attachment that they have to the material space and understand that their insecurity um, is not remotely, it's not anything to do with money. It's its to do with how, how much they can rely upon themselves. And I don't think this person's agenda towards you is, is negative. I do think they're a little bit jealous. I'll say that. I do think they are jealous and they kind of want you to be stuck so that you wait for them is what I'm feeling. So you wait for them to kind of deal with this. Um, be wary if this, if you are in contact with this person, this person wants to hang out with you, but I'm not, it's not for the, it's not for the right reasons. It's because that they're, they're looking for reassurance because they're feeling like they're falling apart. Um, if you're okay with that, then that's cool. But just be aware that they're in a state of grief that they're, they're not willing to invest anything and I'm getting that you know 
they would be too wary about investing, they're too distrustful, and that they have invested in the wrong things or they've lost money by making snap decisions that have caused them to get stuck. So yeah, I think that's all I've got for you, stack number one. And if that resonated, please do like, subscribe and share. And, uh, and drop me a comment, that'd be lush. And uh, I will read for you again soon. Thanks very much and bye. Hello, stack two. And this is for you that chose the obsidian, beautiful. Um, so what is your person's agenda towards you? So we've got the seven of cups, so confused, confused agenda towards you, stack number two. The High Priestess. Oh, they're confused about the connection. They're confused about your connection. There's a spiritual connection here. Straight away. Yeah, for you lot, there's a spiritual connection. And they're very confused about it. And they have an option to follow their intuition. But they're confused about that too. Very confused about their intuition. Um about what constitutes following the spirit's message. That's what I'm hearing. Five of wands, what conflict, and the six of cups. So I feel like this person is confused because the connective energy between the both of you may be quite a new experience to this individual. And I think that they have very strong intuition. They may be very spiritual, but they're having a, you know, a, a confusion about where that sits in their life at the moment. They're in real turmoil about where their spirituality sits, where their, um, I mean, potentially religion, um, where their, um, belief systems sit that's what i'm hearing and the the five of wands is very conflicted energy so there's a real sort of crisis going on about you know how they follow their 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 soul calling and i think they they see you as this high priestess energy i think that they see you as very intuitive and very connected in a spiritual sense and they are in conflict with that. I feel like they want to go back to a time where things were much easier between you with happy memories because I feel like this person is conflicted about those memories, those spaces as well. This person's confusion with their own intuition, with their higher self energy, has caused disruption and conflict and maybe aggression and arguments and they just want things to go back to how they were but I do feel like you intuitively know that they bring conflict because they can't let go of the past they can't and I'm feeling as well that they may be over, if it's a love reading, they're over romanticizing. And again, but I'm mainly feeling that this is massive conflict with the connection, with the fact that you are energetically connected. And I don't care if this is a friend, if it's a family member, if it's a lover, there is a, a soul connection energy with this particular deck that is giving this person a, a huge amount of turmoil, inner turmoil in particular, about you. They may not understand your spiritual connection and they may be very conflicted about your spirituality as well. They may, they may cause arguments because they're threatened by your faith for some of you. Um, and they may perceive it as being confused, that you're confused. But Spirit is saying, no, 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 no. 
the, the turmoil energy, the conflict energy belongs to this person and not to you. That's very specific, that message. Okay. And uh, yeah, they want to, but they're reminiscing at this point in time. And I think they, this is a conflict maybe with you that has occurred in the past and they're really struggling to get their head around it. So in terms of an agenda, I think they're, they're kind of baffled, bewildered and stuck a little bit here. And they may be being very aggressive or difficult to deal with if you're in contact with this person. For some of you, I don't think you are at all because the high priestess can indicate silence. And I think for a lot of you, they are not articulating their conflict, their, their kind of spiritual conflict that is occurring here. Uh, they want to reduce this sense of confusion. So we get the seven of cups and then the six. But I'm really feeling that they're struggling to do that. They're struggling because you can't sort of fight to reduce confusion because it just creates more confusion. And I feel like this person intuitively knows that, but they don't want to intuitively know that. They'd rather ignore it is what I'm hearing. They'd rather ignore their intuition. Hmm. Feathers message. So if you are in communication with this person, there's a lot that they're not saying and their messages may be very confused. They There's miscommunication energy here. So they may have an agenda to confuse you, to not tell you um, about their own inner turmoil. And I think the spirit is hard out messaging this person. Yeah, yeah, spirit is saying, we are doing our damnedest to get the message across to this person that it's actually their own inner relationship with their higher self that needs to be worked on here. Um, and I feel like their conflicts with other people and people from the past as well, um, the people that they've maybe had better relationships with, and, and you could be one of those people, um, is their way of kind of keeping themselves confused so they don't have to um, take responsibility for their own inner calling, their spiritual calling, when spirit is, is calling this person because they are very spiritual. This individual has great insight and there's this owl up here in this card this beautiful owl energy that is trying I think this is spirit uh you know get trying desperately to get through to this person trying to give them the messages that they need encouraging them to uh, you know be in a quiet space settle their mind settle their soul it may be that this person is avoiding um, taking the time that they need to meditate or reflect, or maybe they're very confused about what their messages that they're receiving from that space, because I think it's very challenging for them. And I know this is a lot about their self-work, but I think that's where they're at, actually. I, I, their agenda with you may be to reunite or to, but also maybe to bring you more conflict they they also may want to you know bring you more conflict because they don't know what option to take they don't know what what to prioritize in their life at this point in time maybe they're hoping that you know you will give them some clarity um, if they return or if they come back, um, I'm getting that for some of you. If you are in communication with this person, then they are very internally conflicted. There's a lot going on. There's conflict outside of your relationship, potentially as well as within it. Um, 
and I feel like they they don't really necessarily want to to move on from how they felt in the past or to get over they want to create conflict around the past around stuff that's happened in the past and spirit is trying to say to them be here now be in the moment but that's very difficult energy for them because they've they've got multiple ways of distracting themselves with their material world with their sexuality with their sense of popularity with their identity uh, you know with all kinds of things but spirit's like we're the only cup we're the only cup we're the only option and i feel with this five of wands energy here that there's there's five areas of conflict in this card. There's six cups. I feel like five of these cups have got smashed and leaving one cup. That's what I'm seeing. And it, you may have had to remove your focus from this person just to get some peace and also to focus on self-love. And they also may have to focus on that. And they're very conflicted about how they emotionally start again um but they do i feel want to want to message you but they know that they're confused or they do want to talk or but when if they do at this point in time they won't be really able to articulate how they're feeling it's, there's deep work happening here and this owl is trying to guide them. These feathers here are another indication of spirit trying to message them, trying to show them synchronicities, trying to, to give them a different perspective and to rise above confusion and conflict um, by getting in tune with themselves and spending, I'm hearing more time alone as well. It may be that they spend too much time with people and conflict arises because they're not getting enough personal space. That there's too much in terms of distraction. And they may, yeah, they may want to distract you. Projection. Okay, yeah, okay, well, this makes sense. This is a scrying mirror, and it says projection, and I feel like what this person is doing is projecting their own turmoil in regards to the past or past situations with you um, and with others. They're projecting it onto you. So they spirit is saying they need to look at the dark mirror. They need to look at the shadow aspects but this individual is not at this point able to follow their intuition and they are going to be projecting their issues if they haven't already if they're not doing so already onto you so i'm hearing like blame as well here they're blaming you maybe for conflict that they've created and they're they're hoping um that they can clear things up that it gives them a sense of clarity but actually all they're doing now is reminiscing and spirit is trying to awaken them to the fact that they project that's that's a pattern that that they do so their agenda would be not great primarily not because they're trying to be mean but because they're very confused about how to follow their own intuition so there, there's turbulent energy and confused energy around this person and they may be messaging or giving you messages or communicating in a way that projects their issues onto you so that they don't have to deal with it they don't have to take responsibility for their spiritual journey interesting minerva beliefs here we go there she is, beautiful. This is Athena, uh, you know, in the Greek pantheon, who's the goddess of war and strategy and wisdom. So 
I feel like this person is very strategic and picking up not a great energy from this card in this particular reading. I think they're very rigid with their belief structures. And again, some of them, this may be quite dogmatic religious outlook, or it may be that they're just very fixed. It may be completely non-spiritual and any level of spirituality causes them conflict. So you're going to cause conflict um, just by being you and being spiritual because this person needs to look at their belief structures because I don't think they're working for this individual any longer and they see that you've got very strong belief and that puts them they get annoyed about that I think they they perceive you as being rigid they perceive you as being that you need to change your belief structures, that you need to change your patterns, that you need to be the one that is flexible. But what they're not seeing is actually that they're, the, they're rigid, they're inflexible, they're dogmatic. Um, it may be that they create conflict because you don't agree with them over something. I mean, this could be, you know, anything. This could be politics, religion, um, you know, anything, anything. Um, and that is a problem for them. They may be very stuck in their ways, um, is what I'm hearing spirits say. And they want to tell you what they believe. Um, and they want to project their beliefs onto you so that you, you change <laughs> and they can deal with the turmoil that it brings them to to observe you in a space of faith or or connection with spirit and i feel like that's a very healthy connection with spirit the high priestess is very fluid energy she's very flexible energy spirit always it, everything shifts and moves and changes all the time and to stay in tune with your intuition you must be you know alert to momentary shifts in energy and this person is is not alert to that at this moment because they feel like they're trying desperately to focus their energy on anything but this upgrade to their intuition but the high priestess is the only major arcana in this four tarot reading and will not be ignored she, she, she will roll at any belief system because that's life, right? It's the second that you say, this is an absolute fact, life tends to go, oh really, try this on. And I feel like this person may have created conflict because they may have accused you of projecting your beliefs, but in fact, it's them that is projecting their beliefs. They're very, very rigid. They're very rigid. There's the owl again, look. It's like the wisdom of the universe is knocking at this person's door. And there's no ignoring that. So in terms of their agenda with you at the moment, I think they kind of want to enforce their belief systems, which I don't think is great. And their messages will be emotionally confused if you get in any messages at all, because some of these people might be like completely silent, not telling you about the confusion, not telling you that they're in it in a turmoil and just kind of reminiscing. Um, and I do feel like for some of them, they box you into a category of, they either basically accuse you of being aggressive or combative or causing arguments or being naive and innocent and um, caught in the past and spirit is saying again both of these things are what they are displaying because they've made very little room for nuance uh, they like to have everything sort of packaged up and you know answerable is what I'm saying so this could be even it doesn't have to be like a religious or a spiritual dogma this could be a, a scientific dogma uh, this could be the refusal to recognize any level of anything that lives outside of them this is this is the stack where you have to say there's more in heaven and earth Horatio than is dreamt of in your philosophy this person doesn't like mystery 
And unfortunately, that's like 99.9% .9 reoccurring forever uh, of what the universe is. <laughs> so um, much as we think we know, um, the more you know, the more you know you don't know. And this person doesn't like not feeling that they know facts. Their beliefs are facts, according to this individual. Factual. But they are squeezing out their own extraordinary capability here. They they may be some of them some of them may be trying to explore this but they're very confused about what spirit is trying to say because they want it in like black and white terms and spirit is subtle and i feel like they may be looking externally for messages rather than at how they actually feel what they actually are moved to say instead of reacting I think that this person is quite reactionary as well and their agenda towards you is not fabulous at this moment in time because I think that they would rather change your belief system so that they can get away with not doing the work. So, I mean, what you do with that is entirely up to you, but that, that's what I'm getting for you, deck number two, and I really do hope it resonated and if it did, please like and subs subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> that's very Sean Connery of me. Um, like and subscribe and share and do leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thanks very much. And I look forward to reading for you again. Hello, Stack 3 and welcome. And this is for you that chose the lovely black and white stone here. So what is your person's agenda towards you? So we've got the three of coins, the world faith which um, is the high priest or the hierophant in other decks and the sun oh this feels really nice stack three this this has got lovely energy for me and and that's really nice that's really lovely this person wants to work with you they want to collaborate with you they may be actually wanting to work work with you or they may be just wanting to work on things with you, depending on your relationship to this person. They want, they're ready to learn new things. Um, they're ready to learn, to upgrade, I'm hearing. Um, and that may well be to do with their commitment to you. I feel like if this is a love reading, and I know this is quite specific, and this person has been involved with somebody else, then that is being drawn to a close here. Um, they no longer wish to collaborate or be in a third party situation. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. That will only resonate with a few of you, I know that, but I, it bears saying. Um, if not, then this person just wants to work things out as well potentially um, and they want to there's a will to put in effort in order to learn in order to upgrade and this is kind of a new space for this individual I think they've been working hard on their skills and they've got to a point where they're really quite satisfied with that the world for me is quite satisfactory on a philosophical level basically you get to this point and you think yeah I've done I've accomplished this energy. I've accomplished a conclusion. They may be finishing a work project for some of them, concluding uh, a collaboration. Um, and it's really upgraded this person. It's really taught them a lot. And they've got a new level of commitment, a new level of faith. And with the sun energy here, with this lovely sun energy, they, they're committed to growth. They're committed to growing with you, growing old with you for some people, some of you, um, but growing something with you. And that could be a project, that could be a an idea or that's kind of new. Um, but I do feel like this person has worked very hard to achieve a sense of perspective in their life, to be very authentic with themselves and with other people. And they've had to put effort 
into accomplishing um, the things that they've accomplished and to turn this to go full circle I think to to draw a conclusion over energies which are no longer representative of their skills or representative of them as well but also giving them a brand new level of commitment to growth expansion realization um, they have an energy where they can very clearly see and they're feeling optimistic about this and they know that they need to put in effort and to close down things that no longer serve them and to start things that do but the world for me is always like a lovely pause energy after you've concluded a cycle where you can kind of just you know you're invited by spirit to kind of pat yourself on the back and, and look at how far you've come um it's you've come a long way so this may be a long-term relationship for some of you um, you may be married to this person and that's a very happy situation um this person is, is comfortable with who they are and they're very hard working that's what i'm feeling if that doesn't resonate with you this is not your stack for sure um, it may be as well that this person, like I say, if they're, it's a love relationship, if they've concluded some kind of younger energy um, and they're taking a break before they commit to something that will bring them real happiness. And I think that may be you. Definitely. In a love reading, this is a lovely layout if this is a, a you know somebody that are inquiring about in terms of what they intend to do towards it, what's their agenda in terms of love or well, it's to you know build foundations this is my cathedral building card um and but it's also the card that comes up for me when there is like a new course or it came up a lot for me before I went to university when I was scared to go to university but excited at the same time because you feel like you're, you're just learning the skill um, but this person has put a lot of effort into getting to a finish point with that skill so this person is very skilled um, they may be very skilled with their hands um, or making things or um, not, maybe not, but like there's a collaborative skill here as well. So maybe with other people too. They, they want to end some kind of cycle with you in order to be, be more authentic and commit in a deeper way because they feel so positive about you. Um, you may have brought a lot of growth into their life. They may have been inspired by faith here. Um, they may see you as somebody who's very capable, who can give them guidance, who can teach them something. Um, so maybe they're ready to learn from you as well, is what I'm hearing. And they're open to doing that. They're wide open to doing that. Look at these lovely wide arms here. I'm open to learning um, and to starting a, a new cycle um, with you. Um, this person also is starting a new cycle of faith and self-belief. And I feel like the effort that they've put in has elevated them to having more faith um, it could be spiritually, but I'm hearing definitely in themselves and in their own capabilities. And that's kind of opened up their world. It, it's it's made them feel so much happier about who they are. I can't really see that card very well, but it is a beautiful sun card. And standing, admiring all the planets in this planetarium. And again, I'm feeling that sense of perspective, of overview with this person they see the bigger picture they see the bigger picture with you foresight tea leaves yeah uh, they've got really they want to build for the future they they've got the future in mind here 
they're looking at building and I'm seeing these tea leaves as looking like a tree in this energy so I do feel again they want good firm good firm foundational roots um, and there's a lot of earth energy here for me so you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but at the very least and again two major or three major arcana cards that is heavy duty major arcana that's big style energy this is kind of like a breakthrough feeling for me and it's because this person has taken time to perspectively look at what they want long term so I'm hearing partnership um, so this could be a business partnership for some of you, a new cycle with somebody who, and very, this is very positive energy if that's what it is, if their agenda is to partner with you, then yeah, I can definitely see that for some. Uh, for others, I think that this is like commitment. If you're not already committed to this person, then it may be that they want marriage, that they want to you know, end an old cycle of feeling that they weren't as capable, feeling like they needed to do a lot more to gain um, a high level of skill. But now they've got there. I think they, they've accomplished something and they're quite proud of it and they should be proud of it, Spirit is saying. Uh, because they had the foresight to start this process in the first place and they they're looking to the future with you it's a long-term energy we're dealing with here they're looking to the future and it bodes well is what i'm hearing it's good omens there's good omen energy here and because of their their growth because of their expansion because of and spiritual expansion for a lot of these people as well they have a a new a new view a new way of seeing things a new um perspective on life and they want to build something long term and maybe their energy has been split in the past or their resources may not have allowed um, for their ambition, I'm hearing for some of them as well, but foresight and belief has kept them pursuing this space. So they may have some cracking ideas and be very imaginative and be very capable, very capable. Aura, observation. There's that perspective energy again. This person has the capability of, you know, observing carefully interactions between people. They may be very subtle. They may be very inspirational. And I certainly think that, that they see you in that way. I think that, that you are an incredible inspiration to this person. And they see you as being very capable, very wise. And they love your energy. They love your energy. There's there's so much appreciation for your energy. I think it's given them or brought them the ability to heal spaces in themselves that they they've struggled with in the past. Um, I'm feeling like they do want to move towards this growth with you. They, they're already en route. They've had the foresight to see that you are the person, that you're a person that they can partner with and it would be great. Um, so I definitely feel very strong collaborative energy here. If, if, like I say, if this is love reading and this person was in a third party, I feel like They've drawn that to a close or they're drawing it to a close in order to commit to you. Uh, I think they're drawing it to a close because it, it's kind of, it's a natural ending is what I'm feeling. And they they have the foresight to understand that there's no, there's no more for them left in this space. And, and I feel like they've departed or they are departing that energy. Um, 
and it may be that if it's a partnership or if it's work related that this person has completed their studies or finished a level of understanding whereby that they, they are now ready to commit fully to to something that they really want to go for here is um earth energy like i say but there's also leo energy here um taurus energy in there um so hard working and and kind of dedicated and, and steady energy and like a steady inspirational energy they're they're approaching um their agenda with you if they're not already in contact with you is to come towards you i feel um with a much firm with a strong foundation with you know something worthy of building upon um and it, it may be that it, if this person is work related maybe they're a new energy because there's quite a lot of new energy in the world it could be a new a new job situation as well for these individuals and they feel they're very committed to working um and their agenda is committed to building themselves financially here to building up the tangible elements um, so that they they have a freedom. Um, they have more free time. They're freeing up time to commit to you or to commit to things that, that bring them personal happiness. Um, and they have the foresight to do the work. Spirit is saying this person should congratulate themselves. They really worked hard. They worked very hard here um, to get to where they've gotten to, and it may have taken some time to do that. But my feeling is that if you've already committed, if you've already connected, this person's not going anywhere away from you. Um, they are traveling towards, you know, further expansion with you. Maya illusion. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So we've got the illusion card here and she's lifting, she's lifting the veil and this is an Indian goddess. Well, you know, they, the veil of reality is called Maya in the Indian, um, in Hindu, I think it's Hinduistic belief systems, but there we go. And it's the veil that parts the material reality from the actual reality of spirit, which is how the Indians describe it. And Maya, therefore, is the physical world. So this person knows that it's more than just resource. It's much more than just resource. They may have been confused in the past. Um, they may have been in an illusionary space whereby they've worked at this on something else that they didn't want to work with or with someone else or in a different relationship with another person that it was an illusion though that that this was not really what they wanted and i think that then they now they're they're pulling the wool back from their eyes they're beginning to see they are seeing they're perceiving a totally new direction and they're connecting with a new energy they know now what is reliable and what is not reliable what is illusionary and what is not illusionary because they've had the foresight to observe this I I illusionary space and they may have been through this kind of process before um, so don't underestimate this person and if you think that they're deluding themselves I don't think they are their agenda, I don't think, is is in any way malicious. I think that they are looking to come towards you in a very positive way, or if they're not already connected to you, because for some of you, I think they are. And this illusion card is saying that they are working on seeing bigger spiritual energies as well. I really feel that this is an upgrade to energy. This is the high priest for me is always about initiation as well. Um, the hanged man is like the apprentice into the into the sacred lodge. The high priest 
is the one that initiates the apprentice and I feel that they've learned a lot. This person has strong energy, a strong positive energy. This is a can-do attitude and they're going to part the veil of illusion and it may be that you don't see this person fully, like you don't really see who they really are and their agenda is to reveal themselves as well to you um, and to show you how committed that they are, to show you how dedicated they are, to show you how much perspective they've gained, how much healing they've done. I'm picking that with the aura card here. Um, and this has been no small journey. This is this has taken time, Spirit is saying. But now they're able to see and separate the material world from the spiritual world and, and know the differences about, and also know how those worlds interact and that they need both of those worlds in good balance to make them happy. And I really feel that they are hoping that you'll see this reality and that you won't think that it's not true, that it's not real, that it's just an illusion, um, that they are, that you can't see the full picture. And, but I'm getting that you, you shouldn't doubt in this, you shouldn't doubt this individual, this person is dedicated to going through the process of growth that's led to their ability to see energies, see spiritual messages, recognize spiritual messages and allow spirit to help them close down on things that they no longer want to work on so that they can upgrade their own wisdom. And again, I think they perceive you as being very capable of parting the veil, <clears throat> of seeing through um, to, you know, what's real and what's not real. So I think that this is a really good partnership and that their agenda is to either continue in this good space or to bring it into form, to build to build it um, by closing down uh, and completing things that they've needed to complete. But it's all been, you know, their skill set, that it's all been part of their journey that they've needed to do this and remove any layers of illusion that they still have left so that they can clearly see what they want. And I think they're a little bit hesitant at the moment because I think what they want is you. And I think it's there's still a little bit of time um, before they'll really go for it. They might test the water um, and they may feel that you've uh, misunderstood them potentially in the past or not seen the full picture. Maybe they weren't showing you the full picture. Maybe they were deceptive. But if they were, then the mask is off. They, they've taken that deceptive energy off and they're no longer pretending to be something to themselves that they are not. So their agenda is to be authentic. They, they do want to be authentic and they are very sincere about this commitment, about this growth and about removing any further illusion or any issues that have clouded your um, your relationship with them. Just move these over so you can see them. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, this is lovely energy stack number three and I really do hope that that resonates. If this person, this person's agenda is not, is, is sincere and that you are not that's not an illusion, okay? This person's agenda, they they want to commit in some way, shape or form and they're willing to put in the effort and they're willing to observe, they're willing to learn, they're willing to um, have foresight about this situation 
and you may not be seeing that but I think that you will so don't be shy is what I want to say um, and allow this person to show you what they've learned so do observe open with open arms with open-minded faith in spirit that it's brought you the right kind of learning with this person. This is lovely energy. Anyway, I do hope that resonated. And if it did, please like and subscribe and share. Um, I'm a, such a young YouTube channel and I really appreciate all the support that I can get. Anyway, I look forward to reading for you again. Thank you. Hello stack number four, last but by no means least. This is a beautiful piece of malachite here, which I love. Love, 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 one of my favorite stones. Okay, so what is your person's agenda? What is the person's agenda who you're inquiring about? The wheel, the tower, the nine of cups, and strength. Um, my God, there are just so many major arcana cards in in the tarot cards, which is it's extraordinary. Every reading has had a minimum of one, and there's been another reading with three, another reading with two. That is nine major arcana cards out of fourteen cards. I mean, what are the odds? This is this is, and again, you've got three major arcana. Amazing. So you've got the wheel here, which is for me, it's a hand of God card. It's a karmic card. It's a card where fate steps in. And then you've got the tower, which for me is a hand of God card. It's a, where fate steps in. So uh, this person's agenda is kind of irrelevant because spirit has a different one. Spirit is leading this. There's something about this energy for me that is predestined, is prearranged, is fated. I know some of you won't comply with that philosophy, but there is free will and there is fate. As far as I'm concerned, there are both of those things in existence. And this is a very much, this is about luck and about synchronicity, the wheel, and about abundance in general. So I do feel that like this person may have you know felt on a roll with you and then that's all collapsed with the tower um they may have expected abundance and got a tower moment instead i'm hearing it's because they pushed their luck they've pushed they've tried to stack the odds in their favor which is a no-no universally you, you just can't do that Instead, they've made themselves unbalanced, which has collapsed the tower. So this person is in conflict with the energy that brought the two of you together or has crossed, it has made sure that you've crossed paths with this person. This is so powerful these two cards together, the wheel and the tower together. This is predestined destruction, which, you know, is meant to happen. It's meant to happen this way so that, you know, you can perceive the nine of cups, the wish fulfillment. This is very different energy to the other decks. And I, I just feel like regardless of this person's agenda, this is the way it's gone down the end <laughs> and yours maybe like this is the way it's gone down you may have been on a brief roll and then everything came crashing down and it's you've had to recalibrate what it is you want in terms of what your wish fulfillment is i think this person sees you as a wish fulfillment in in some way shape or form as an answer to to something that you hold the answer and that might be something to do with 
your ability to stay strong or to have recovered from a space. And I think this person is recovering from a shock. They're in shock, which means that their agenda is not really, it, it's kind of moot point because they're in a space of just trying to handle this energy rather than plan to do anything with it. And Spirit says, it, you know, the planning is not in their hands. It's it's out of their hands. Um, they've had quite destructive energy it, it, around them. I think they have kind of flown by the <laughs> flown by the seat of their pants. Like basically, this person that has really tempted Lady Luck and Lady Luck's buggered off. Um, I feel like it's been very up and down for this your connection and I am saying connection because there's god cards up here so, and fate so yeah it's it's felt like really lucky really fortunate and really unlucky at the same time so this person feels that meeting you was was really unfortunate or really poorly, it was bad universal timing. They're criticizing the universal's timing, um, which is not really gonna help um, because tough. There's bugger all you can do about it. But I think that they wanted to, I'm hearing spin the wheel in their favor, like turn, turn abundance energy in their favor and they pushed it. They, they asked for way too much. Um, and they were trying to expand things, but not building the foundation in that expansion. So they wanted an expansion without putting the proper work in. So it was flimsy and it collapsed. And this is out of their hands. Like this was meant to happen this way so that they would focus their desire on overcoming uh, instinctual space, reactionary space, uh, being easily provoked, um, Mars energy in here as well, so maybe their temper, um, and also I'm hearing independence. They, they needed to grow a desire for being more independent for working more collaboratively, for getting a balance between praise and self, self praise as well. So self, like positive self talk and self discipline. And to kind of have governance on their own decisions, on their own life, and not to be, you know, easily swayed, not to be flimsy in their foundations. Not to invest in other people's ideas, but to invest in their own sense of strength. So in terms of their agenda, it's pre-planned. <laughs> it's pre-arranged, people. Um, by the universe, pre-arranged. So what we've got, mastery. This is Orga Mastery. Well, this is very interesting energy. This has got magician energy for me here. I really feel like the universe's agenda, let's put it like that, has been to destroy a cycle of behavior, a cycle of activity, and maybe a karmic loop as well, with a shocking realization, so that this person will go inwards, so that they will try and master um, and foster a better relationship with the universal forces. That's what I'm being shown. So this person, you know, may have spiritual capability, but may have got a bit sidetracked by not appreciating the size of the forces that they were messing with. They may have done magic. Some of these people may have done magical things and had repercussions hit them and been like, oh, holy crap. 
And now they've got a whole different level of respect for mustn't with the with that kind of energetic. Because I think they pushed it. They may have pushed a very destructive energy in order to gain something, gain a wish, gain a fulfillment, and be perceived as being, you know, strong and in control. But this has collapsed because you can't push it. You can't, and if you tempt fate, don't be surprised if it rocks up and collapses everything. Um, this person is mastering. They are trying to, because you are a wish fulfillment. They, they really like, they see you as an answer to overcoming their impulses, to overcoming maybe their destructive cycle or destructive tendencies. And they're really trying hard to master and this magician energy is for it's like strong manifestational energy for me. So I think they're really trying to manifest a, a new positive, a new, a happier ending to things for some of you. The nine, <coughs> excuse me, the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment card, obviously, but it is nearly the end of the cycle and it like it's so close to the 10 and I feel like they think that they they could get that 10 of cups with you if they just overcame impulses this could be a third party situation if it's a relationship because there's three there's there's one lion and two cats here and I yeah it could be that they they just need self-control I'm hearing that self-discipline and also a check on their hot temper um strength is not easily provoked and I don't feel that you're easily provoked and maybe they see you as having mastered this energy but it could be that this person has royally provoked you like you feel very you know you've had you've had to dig deep basically <laughs> Um, but you may have, they may see you as having destroyed their dream of, uh, you know, being able to maintain a, a level of strength or of governance again in this situation. But spirit says, nah, it is exactly as it needs to be. This is divinely timed for both of you so this is not their agenda or your agenda this is spirit's agenda and that's just what i'm getting people that's what i'm getting oh tarot guidance okay again you got the four tools of the magician in this card and this next to the mastery card this is like mucho manifestation energy this is full-on manifestation energy and the fool is behind in this image so this person may well want to manifest a new beginning with you and close down um because the, i can just see the world just behind close down a you know an old cycle close down from this destructive energy but spirit says they need to recover they need to recover somehow so their agenda may be to just master a recovery this this tower energy may be to do with something else it may be to do with another relationship it may be to do with something else that has just collapsed i mean it could be anything really with the tower Anything that they invest, um, they've kind of committed to without questioning the actual foundation of that space. So this could be financial resources as well for this person that, that may have, or it could be an emotional meltdown energy. Um, and they just feel very unlucky at the moment. I think that they, I'm not sure that this person has actually developed this level of mastery yet to understand that um, luck is believing you're lucky and having just a little bit of faith. And that's from a song, I'm just, I'm just picking that up, that it, it, 
that they're very fickle in their relationship with universal forces. And if they've tried to mess with those forces for their own ends, that that's collapsed. And they may have done that and they may be in a state where they're trying to recover and sort of gain back energy and to elevate themselves via this realization. And you may have realized that you have a desire to grow stronger. They have a desire to grow stronger as well. I don't think their agenda is to come towards you at this point, again, because of this recovery energy, but also because the strength card has a lot of restraint energy around it for me. Um, they are trying to master the impulse to come towards you and master even the impulse to to push for this wish fulfillment because they know it will be destructive if and they may have pushed already and it's already been destructive for some of you but they want something from you and i think they see you as having mastered some kind of self-control self-governance independence that kind of thing and they their realization is that they want to do the same the same thing so i think their agenda is to kind of spiritually follow in a way uh, so that they can ascend so that they can grow whether you want this person or not it's kind of uh, whether you want them in their in your life i don't know i think they're capable of you know being very fickle very destructive there's there's not reliable energy here so i'm i'm really not sure what you want in this but i'm guessing that there is strong desire here though i mean there is strong desire between the two of you and definitely from this person to you they they you are a wish fulfillment and they're having to restrain themselves uh, from like lower energies so i think there's a lot of chemistry and i am picking up for the vast majority of you that this is a love relationship reading um, if it is like a, I mean, it could be a family member, there is that there is, or a friend, but there's a soul connection energy here. I mean, this is quite an intense relationship if it is. And you're both manifesting, you're both manifesting this wish to overcome like past shocks or an unfortunate turn of events that's what i'm hearing as well a really unfortunate turn of events by remaining positive and staying strong if you're already in relationship with this person and this tower energy is not to do with you then i do feel you're on the same page uh that you've been through this kind of energy in individually independently of one another and you've had to grow your strength and that you're definitely on the same page now spirits give me a whole nother scenario as well some of you out there are trying to manifest a new relationship and while you're manifesting so are they which is amazing and i think you've been through the mill both of you and you have a new desire and you know what you want and being quite controlled about the energy and and trying to keep it like high vibe um attraction matters chemistry matters but like it's not top of your list it's whether this person is mastered their emotional space mastered their relationship with higher forces and overcome um, karmic cycles I think that's for you as well and guidance whether they can help guide you and you can guide them um, I feel that this person's very spiritual whoever it is that you're you're referring you're you're inquiring about this person is quite spiritual but they may not be 
Hmm. If you're not in contact with this person and you haven't met them and you're both manifesting a new person, you are on the same page. If you're in contact with this person and this tower energy is not related to you and this to, to each other, sorry, and you haven't caused destruction in each other's lives, but you've been through that with somebody else by a seeming unfortunate turn of events, then you again are on the same page. If this person is somebody that has brought this tower energy into your world, then you have also brought their tower energy into their world and they need to master their relationship with the universal forces in order to manifest a higher vibrational space in terms of a relationship. I think that's it. It's complicated. This is complicated. So this tarot guidance, some of you may be, and they may be, readers, uh, diviners, um, they may work with the runes or they may, may work with any form of divination is what I'm picking up here. They may be master manifestors. You may be master manifestors. Um, and their agenda is, you know, partially to learn, to learn to master maybe some a skill that you have or to accept guidance as well um, is what I'm hearing. Um, and you want to be guided by somebody who's really genuinely mastered um, their understanding of how the universe works. So you need them to master themselves. And your strength is found, though, in your relationship to spirit. And they're learning that. They're learning that. God, this is complicated energy because some of you don't even know this person, but you're manifesting them. Amazing. So your final card is nourishment. God, it's so bright. And like, try and get that. There you go. You can see that a little bit better. That is called corn woman nourishment. And I'm what's stepping out to me in this card is the the wheel, the Native American wheel of the four directions. And this sense of balance within this card, this is very complementary energy. So if this person has pushed their luck, and that's the individual that we're talking about, and it's collapsed in a heap, they are mastering self-nourishment. And I think you've had to master that too. And it's spiritually, it's the spiritual agenda. Um, to have you both master self-nourishment, self-nurturance, balance, um, healthiness, um, physical interaction with the natural world um, is a very healing energy as well here. Um, questioning the day-to-day -day activities, maybe physically looking after yourself uh, as well with this energy. Um, so it's universally designed to help you self-nurture and self-nourish so that you can bring guidance and bring a spirituality into the world. This could easily be a twin flame situation if this is a relationship because of this destructive, you know, fated carnage up here. <laughs> um, oh, the joy of the twin flame journey, huh? Um, but definitely feel that if you're manifesting a new beginning with a new person that you haven't met yet, that this is going to be a wonderful compliment. You are going to wonderfully compliment one another. You can really look after each other as well. And, it, you know, each other's physical well-being is going to be high on your agenda. Um, and that's just beautiful energy. And this person if they're the one that's tempted fate and it's fallen apart, maybe they were there just to bring you into this manifestation space so that you could meet a new person. Uh, whether this be romantic or not, it may be that their situations collapse to make room for this new manifestation energy, for somebody who's much more masterful. 
but also so that this individual can learn to master themselves. So Spirit is saying for some of you, if you want to, you know, there, there is long term capability between you and this person that's brought this tower energy um, into your world or, or vice versa. Um, but there has to be a recognition of, of self-responsibility and, and self-nourishment. Um, and that, that's, that's just for everybody, actually, because you're not going to meet your ideal manifested partner and have all this balance if that nourishment energy has not been conquered and that you haven't learned how to really look after yourself. Um, because that's the point, like spiritually, that's the point is, is self nurturance and relationship, your personal relationship with spirit. I think there's been a massively illuminating relationship with this individual. I think that, you know, it's crumbled and you've grown, you've both grown enormously in, in your wisdom, in your understanding and it may be that this person as well took really bad advice, advice that just that did that just wasn't that they didn't use their own self mastery. That taking advice from others, or you know, reckless with who they took guidance for potential uh, um, from potentially uh, landed them in in a. A place where it felt like everything had collapsed but this person is dealing with tower energy and they need to deal with that and focus on it um whether you've met them or not they're dealing with tower energy and they need to recover so they're nourishing themselves at the moment um either to come back around in this situation in a more masterful way and input more masterful more balanced energy or to meet you <laughs> so so there you go so i didn't expect that but there you go stack number four and i really do hope that resonated and if it did please like and subscribe and subscribe subscribe and share that's what i meant to say i cannot speak today anyway um it's always a pleasure to read for you and i look forward to reading for you again soon bye